Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk a bit about customizing RStudio. Now that we're more comfortable with R, we can discuss changing preferences and options in RStudio. Most of the changes that we may want to make can be done by clicking on Tools and then Options. This is true for both Mac and Windows. It's worth noting that on Mac, these can also be found under the RStudio menu and Preferences. Under the General Settings, we may set our default workspace by selecting a location here. We can also have R restore the previous workspace image by having this box ticked. I prefer to not have this. Upon quitting R, we can be asked if we'd like to save the workspace. We can have it always save the workspace or never. Again, I prefer the default option of being asked. Under code editing, we can change how our code or our script will appear. For example, we can have the option of having the current line we're on highlighted. We can have the line number in the code shown. For example, line one, two, three, as we see here. One good option is to have the insert matching parentheses and quotes included. You'll notice when I'm typing in R, when I type an open bracket, the closed bracket automatically appears. When I type a quotation, the open and closed quotation both appear. Under the appearance, we can change the font that's used, the font size, as well as how code will appear in our script. We can take a look at a few different options. Again, I prefer the default myself. The pane layout will allow us to change how RStudio's interface is laid out. For example, we can see in the top left corner, we have our script or our data view. In the bottom left corner is the R console. In the top right corner is where we're showing our workspace or our history. And in the bottom right corner is where we see plots and help menus. We can move these around as we like. For example, we can have the console appearing in the upper left. These are all just a matter of personal preference. I'm happy with the default options, probably because that's what I started working with. Under the Packages menu, we can set a default mirror. Recall, the mirror is where packages will be installed from. I'll go ahead and select SFU as my default mirror and that way I don't need to enter this again when installing packages. The S-Wave menu is something that we won't really talk about other than mentioning we can have our output inserted into a LaTeX document using S-Wave. Under the spelling menu, we can select the language that we're using for the dictionary, we can add additional dictionaries, and we can also specify when RStudio will or will not suggest corrections. And this last menu down here is something we will not concern ourselves with. We can also create and manage projects using the project menu. Here we see we can create a new project. This is another useful way for organizing work, workspaces, and working directories. In the next set of videos in this series, we'll start to discuss descriptive statistics. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.